the stand to get that at least up into the truck. Turbo uh, intercooler off. I got to clean it out because it has some oil in it from the, uh, the original turbo going bad. So I still got to take that out and clean it, but get the nose on and start hooking up the electrical and everything. You know, motor mounts, transmission support and all that. Get all that done. But uh, I'm like definitely on the home stretch now, just finishing it up. And one thing that needs to be done on Stinky Pete is uh, this rear differential is going to be, uh, need to be beefed up. Surprised it hasn't completely failed yet. I know it's a type of Dana because it's a 12 bolt, like a uh, diamond shaped Dana. It uh, goes to uh, the floating axles basically is what it is, uh, sub floating. Uh, it shrinks down to a small 31 spline into uh, the carrier. So like they have like the regular Dana 60 basically rear differential axle tube until it gets there then it shrinks down to like a Dana 44. See I don't care what differential I have in this truck it would be nice to get a Dana 60 with uh, I believe this is a, a 250, uh, 272's uh, gear ratio or something in it. I need to gear it up to like a 221 or something like that. Uh, to the large 30, uh, 31 spline. Basically, I don't. I just want to do a one-ton rear, but still keep it the five lug. Yeah, I don't care if it's disc brakes in the rear or drums, whatever. But I would like to get a differential uh, custom made uh, for this truck. You know, it has the large center hole here and uh, the five lug. I believe it's a five by five. So uh, I know there's companies out there, like my dad used to deal with, that used to build custom differentials, like for dragsters and stuff like that. So I got to see what they can do. I just need to give them, uh, the shock mounts are on the leaf springs themselves. So as long as they have the leaf spring pedestals welded in the right spot on the axle tube and uh, roughly the same uh, width across, that's all I care about, you know? So. Uh, uh, that's uh, one thing I would like to do. Uh, like I know uh, a heavier differential will have a, a thicker axle tube like this. So I might have to go to the junkyard, get some like W350 um, lowers right here for the shock to bolt up to because the leaf spring, uh, the U-bolt spacing is bigger for the thickness of the axle tube. So uh, that I can manage if it was a bigger axle tube all the way through. But uh, that's definitely a project for later on. And like I was saying before, like I would like to do that and also redo the whole front end. So like I was saying before, all new ball joints, bushings, uh, tie rod ends, the whole nine yards, steering box. And get this uh, whole front end nice and tight again. So uh, going down the highway at like, let's just say 75 or 80, it doesn't have like a little bit of a shimmy or shake to it like it does right now. I know a little bit of the shaking is because um, those rear rims are a little bent. So uh, I need to see about getting some new steel rims so they're not bent. And then this should go nice and true down the highway again. You know, maybe one day I'll uh, get like uh, the rear differential and spindles out of a uh, Dodge D like a D250, you know, the six lug or an eight lug and swap them out because it's only the spindle that's different, you know, so you have uh, different brake rotors and brake calipers because of 16 inch rims. Um, so, but the control arms are all the same and everything. So it's just the spindles for the front. And of course you have the whole rear differential on the rear. But uh, definitely thoughts, you know, of mine, you know, things I might do, uh, see how things go. You know, I want to try to keep it a five lug, you know, because it's very unique, you know, because they never had a uh, five lug Cummins and having the half ton and everything, you know, trying to keep it uh, pretty close to original. So it still looks like an old junk truck, you know, basically it's like a, it's a full on sleeper practically. So I still have to get aftermarket gauges to put uh, up in the cab so I can monitor temperatures and stuff. And also, I would like to get the water methanol injection, but not for methanol, you know, just the water itself so I could try to keep my uh, EGTs down. Also, I wanted to hook up another windshield washer jug with just water. So uh, at a push of a button, it doesn't just supply water to the uh, injection system in the intake for EGTs. It will also have two sprayer nozzles spraying water on the uh, turbo cooler and radiator to help keep it all cool during those burnout competitions and stuff. 
And so uh, a lot of you already know about the flamethrower exhaust system. So uh, something I wanted to do was hook up um, other nozzles and igniters uh, somewhere like either behind the wheel or in front. So what it can do is not just the ignite the tire smoke to have a burning uh, burnout, flaming burnout. Also, it would be cool to leave a trail of like uh, burning gasoline. So it's like uh, Back to the Future when it takes off and leaves the strip, you know, of where the wheels were. <laughs> Definitely lots of ideas. It just depends on what I have money for, what I get time to do. I never expected this truck to be TikTok famous. Which that sticker I put on the window like ten, like six years ago just for fun, you know. I was just joking around. That was back when I only had like maybe uh, like 7,000 followers on TikTok and stuff. And I put that on there just for fun.